Um, speaking of Stumptown, actually, <laughs> where did the concept for Stumptown come from? Uh, uh, quick version is um, I. If you look at Stumptown and you look at Queen and Country, they are sourced from similar locations, i.e. television shows that influenced me when I was young. I, I can remember being seven and sprinting home from school because if I got home at three and got the TV on in time, I could catch the answering machine message at the beginning of the Rockford file. So good. Okay. So I love that show. And I fell in love, you know, my parents gave me, here are the Hardy Boys, and I'd be like, ah! This is horrible. I couldn't read it. It was so dull. And, uh, you know, by the time I was like 11 or 12, I was reading uh, Robert B. Parker, Spencer stuff. I, I, I was immersed in the genre. And, and frankly, my first love has always been the P.I. genre. So I always knew I wanted to do a P.I. series. And I always knew that in some way I wanted to look back to things like Magnum yeah. and the Rockford Files and say, here's my take. I want to do my take. So that's, you know, that's, that's how you get Stumptown. That's me finally going, what would Rockford look like in 2010 okay. uh, if I did it? And the first thing would be, well, he wouldn't be a guy. Because 30 years on, he doesn't have to be. 30 years on, it, it isn't, oh, it's a female. Ooh, that's an issue. You know, you, you, it's just the cop or the PI in this case. It's a woman. Second thing, politics change. Values have shifted slightly. But there are certain things from Rockford Files that I absolutely kept. I think one of the things that made Rockford work so beautifully was Jim's relationship with Rocky. Yeah. Um, and I very much wanted to give Dax a family relationship. So she has Ansel. She has a brother. And instead of, you know, in Rockford, Jim's relationship with Rocky is not, is supportive, it's not dependency. Yeah. Rocky clearly is his own entity. He's surviving. He's doing fine. In Stumptown, Ansel needs Dex. That relationship is very much one of her absence will impair him. Um, so that raises all sorts of uh, relationship and responsibility issues. It raises issues of, frankly, sacrifice. I mean, right. speaking as somebody who's grown up, you know, my sister is developmentally disabled. It changes your worldview and it changes what you have to bring. So, you know, these, these are things that are very active choices. And was that, was, was it your sister, was, the, the, was that the decision to have a character with like... Down yeah, I mean, I felt, I felt I could write Downs reasonably, accurately and honestly because my sister has Downs. Um, and it, it shows off really well because, I mean, it's really easy for that to go wrong really quickly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and it doesn't feel like that at all, which is Thank God really, for that. A, really a testament. I, like. I appreciate it. Well, i got to tell you, I think that that's as much what Matthew, there, what Matthew's done with the art. Um, and, and I remember when he was doing the first designs for, for Ansel, and, you know, he was emailing me, going, there's, there's a specific curve to the face that, will, that, that indicates downs, and I can't nail it yet. Um, and, and then he did. Yeah, and absolutely. I think that, you know, you don't want to be self-pitying. You don't want to be indulgent. You want to be honest. I mean, the, the name of the game is for me, and it's across the board. It doesn't matter if it's writing Nightwing and Flamebird with Eric Troutman, if it's writing, you know, Batwoman uh, in Detective, if it's writing Question, if it's writing, you know, Atticus in these novels. It's, uh, it's all got to come back to the being emotionally honest. Absolutely. Um, you know, I can have people flying through space on meteorites that talk. But as long as the meteorites are, you know, emotionally honest, I can make you believe it. Um, Is that the next comic you're going to be working on? No, I really have no interest in that one. <laughs> I'm not sure it would work. It'll be someone's favorite. <laughs> okay. Ow. Very good. Nicely done. Look at that. See, that was a full circle. <laughs> Look at that. So. <laughs> um, what's what's next in the uh, in the lexicon? In the well, I mean, uh, right now things are in a lot of flux. There's a lot of stuff going on, so I'm not announcing anything right now. Okay. There will be more stuff coming from Oni. Uh, Stumptown's obviously continuing, um, and I have like three projects in development right now. But until uh, until there is ink, you know, uh, with signature and people going, yes, it's published, yes, and and yes. And then I, I can't speak about it. 